Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Planet X News. It is April 22nd, 2017. And once again, astronomers are finding other planets outside of our solar system. Dated for April 13th, 2017, astronomers have located a small exoplanet. They affectionately named it Didi. Now, ladies and gentlemen, they have been discovering all of a sudden, all of these exoplanets. Now I know uh, a few months ago, all of you probably saw this press conference that was held by NASA, and they were talking about more exoplanets that they have discovered. The reason why I am showing you this article is simply because, you know, we have so many naysayers out there that say, oh, it's impossible. There cannot be a planet X. There cannot be a planet named Nibiru. Other planetary objects cannot move into our solar system. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the people who say these things are absolutely 100% wrong. There is just absolutely no doubt about that. Astronomers have been finding these exoplanets for quite a while. It's only been as of recently that a lot of this information is now finally coming out. I feel the reason why it's coming out is because there, there's going to have to be a lot of explanations and answers for what is occurring around the world and within our inner solar system. Now, getting back to this article, it states that the planetary body known as 2014 UZ224, more affectionately known as DD, has been studied by teams interpreting data from ALMA. It lies about three times the distance of Pluto from the sun and is the second largest known trans-Neptunian object behind the dwarf planet Eris. Beyond the orbit of Neptune, there could be as many as thousands and thousands of these objects. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, who is to say what is exactly outside of our solar system and what are the possibilities of one of these objects coming into our solar system? Now see, ladies and gentlemen, this orbit graph that you're seeing here is showing you the orbit of this small exoplanet. Now this exoplanet, DD, is only 635 kilometers across. It's small. But if you take a look at the orbit, which takes 1,100 years for it to orbit our sun. So if another planet, exoplanet, is orbiting our sun, then don't you think that it should be part of our solar system? You know, many years ago, they, they downgraded Pluto and kicked Pluto out of our solar system. Why did they do that? Were they making room for the astronomers who found the so-called hypothetical planet X, planet nine? Ladies and gentlemen, here's the bottom line. This is what I think. Now, over the course of the last two years, so much of this information has come out. But we really don't hear too much about it. I'm wondering how many of you actually heard about this new exoplanet published on the 13th of April 2017 and they've been looking at this planet for quite some time it's a very dark planet it's a very cold planet but it does emit a little bit of light it takes quite a long time for its light emission to make its way all the way to earth but apparently it's visible, they know it's there. So again, it makes you wonder what else 
do they know about? Now, I'm very, very sure that they know about a lot more. Are we going to be told about all of this? Well, absolutely not. Are we going to be told about the issues that we're having with the sun? Well, ladies and gentlemen, there are so many people out there that are squawking and flapping their gums and they're talking about the grand solar minima. But in actuality, take a look at the sun today. Take a look at the sun yesterday. There is a tremendous amount of activity on our sun. Grand solar minima, I'm not buying it. Is our sun being affected by the positioning of a brown dwarf star within our inner solar system and closing in on the sun? That's my belief. The research between myself, Chris Potter, and our physicist is proving beyond the shadow of a doubt that our sun is being affected by another star, a brown dwarf star. Maybe we should name it. They did name it many, many years ago. They named it Nemesis. Is there a possibility that these, these brown dwarf stars are able to drag along other planetary bodies with them? The answer to that is absolutely yes, 100%. So the bottom line is, there will be the naysayers out there flapping their gums and telling you that these things are impossible. But ladies and gentlemen, they are not impossible. They are real. Very, very real. And if you just take a listen and take a look around and see what is happening to our planet on a daily basis, there are things occurring around the world that are definitely proving our theories and our research and our investigation. And one other point that I'd like to make, and it is in no reference to this new exoplanet DD, but if you take a look at how much effort is taken to discredit us, and what we are researching and investigating. Take a look at the amount of energy that other factions are using to discredit us. Number one, that's their job. And number two, they do not want anyone knowing or understanding what is clearly happening around the world and within our inner solar system. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave a link to this article. I urge all of you to go ahead and read it. It's very interesting, but it only goes to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that there are other planets orbiting our star. Our star is the sun. And you can clearly see by the graph that's in front of you now that DD 2014 UZ 224 orbits our sun. It may take 1100 years to complete one orbit, but our star is the host of this small exoplanet. So once again, you raise the question, what else is actually out there that you, the people, are not being told anything about. This is Scott from Planet X News. Thank you for watching.